Hey everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. I forgot to record this when I was at my house, so I'm at the gym about to go work out, but I wanted this to do my pre-workout little clip. So three things I'm going to focus on, or three of my focuses for my workout today is to continue the momentum that I got from the push presses in the last workout into the clean and jerks that I have today and to have some really, hopefully, better looking jerks than previous ones, at least ones that feel better. The second focus is with the uh, power snatches and snatch work that I have today and to work on, continue to work on the bar path and getting it to be more consistent and just better overall, not as far away from my body. So there is that focus as well. And the last focus is to hit something big on block pulls with the uh, deadlift block pulls that I have today. I want to at least do 605 pounds. If that's manageable, I may make a, another jump from there, but that would probably be the most I would do, some jump from 605. So who knows how that will work out. Hopefully I do well in those three areas as well as my other exercises, but I will uh, talk to you all after this workout. Peace. Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this post-workout video, I'm going to cover three different things. The weightlifting movements that I did, the deadlifts that I completed, and some extra accessory work I got done at the end of my workout. So starting out with the snatch work that I had today, I had two different movements, uh, snatch push press, plus overhead squats and those went fine nothing much to note with those the snatch power snatches i had after that were more noteworthy as far as uh, my focus is with mechanics i was definitely working on the mar path and i felt like that was a little bit better today but i was still extending early based on what i was seeing in the video so i have to continue to just force myself to wait until my torso gets more vertical before i start to extend uh, one thing I'd look at on video with that is to see when my heels are leaving the ground because that's an indication that I am starting to extend and if my torso is bent over that means I'm not in a good position to fully extend to really get the most out of my body uh, as much as I could. So definitely a, I think a positive step mechanically today but uh, definitely have room to work but I'm not going to fix everything in a day. It's going to be a long process for snatches especially. But onto the clean and jerks I had, it was a clean plus a front squat plus a jerk and that was up to 185 for 222 two, two for one set and uh, I thought it went really well uh, my first jerk that I did didn't go very well with the 185 it was basically a uh, push press uh, but the second one I was able to get that same feeling that I had with the push press where it was really exploding up based on just the way I was able to kind of just do that what I talked about before getting the bar to feel like it wrapped around and then exploded up the difference was on the the first rep versus the second as I was really trying to I was worrying about what the bar was doing a lot on the first rep and the second one I was worried about just being quick with my lower body and using that to cue me coming up if that makes any sense so I just changed where my mind was thinking um, and the result was much better in the second rep but it wasn't um, I wanted to do one more rep that was really good so I did a um, sorry I just had a bug on me uh, but I had a clean and jerk I just did a clean jerk without the front squat and I wanted to do another jerk and the last jerk I thought went really really well I was able to really feel that cue so push presses are going to be huge for me to really feel that and really drive home that feeling of just that quick knee flexion and extension and then using kind of the whip of the bar to really just propel it up as quickly as I can and it definitely was a, a very good step today and hopefully will continue to be something that I can uh, implement as a uh, frequently as I possibly can in order to you know, jerk <laughs> as much weight as I, I possibly can. Uh, but moving on to deadlifts, I did block pulls and I was able to, I, most I've ever done I'm pretty sure was uh, 630 today. Um, did that for a rep. I tried 650 twice and failed that twice. Not too worried about that. It is what it is with those, but I'm extremely happy I was able to do 630 and the 650s didn't break me. Um, I just, my upper back rounded, so it just means I need to get my upper back str uh, stronger. So isn't there isn't really too much else to talk about. I'll probably do it one more time this week and do it more for volume. Definitely not that heavy again uh, later this week. Uh, moving on to the accessory work, I was planning on doing uh, shoulders by and try stuff tomorrow but I decided to throw that in today just because I got in a little bit earlier and I was just feeling like it which is rare because I was pretty burnt out from doing deadlifts and stuff so I did uh, hammer curls some weighted dips some rear delt flies and uh, some ab work as well as some really light back extensions I was gonna not do those but I decided just to cut the weight down and do them with a lighter weight so I was able to get those done as well and this freaking bug it just loves me because I'm probably all sweaty and gross 
actually I not might be I definitely am but that is really about it that I have to talk about in this post workout I apologize this ran a little bit longer than I would have liked but I'm trying to get better uh, every time I do one of these trying to get three main things and trying to be a bit more concise but I have a tendency to ramble especially when I'm kind of tired from working out but on to dinner and I will catch you all in the next part peace Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome to the third part of this video. In this part I want to give an update about the Sleep Cycle app that I've been using as my alarm clock and talk about three things that I really enjoy with it. So if you're unaware, it's an app that essentially acts as an alarm clock and one thing I really enjoy about it, say I want to wake up at 7 o'clock, it will try to wake me up between 6.30 and 7 and it will estimate the best time to wake you up using the microphone or whatever mechanism that it uses uh, within the app and then the alarm will go off. So some random time between that it will go off. So usually I wake up early, uh, which is kind of nice. You get your day started a little bit early and you're not as jolted to get up and, that, and that's a, um, I don't know how scientific that is, but I have noticed I haven't been like just you know sh jolted awake if that makes any sense it's more gentle it seems um, but I really like it more so than just a traditional alarm clock the second thing that I enjoy about the app is it tells you how long you're sleeping each night so you're able to track that it tells you when, when you went to bed when you woke up obviously it's an estimate but it's kind of neat to see that and track it about that you know thereabouts uh, besides that it has other information that you look within the app for free and that brings me to the third point that I want to bring up is that it provides a ton of information on the app for free and it's very easy to use there's no ads that pop up all the time and I don't think I've seen an ad except for it talking about its yearly memberships and that's really about it and it's not intrusive or anything so it's a really awesome app and it's probably one that I've honestly considered about doing like a yearly membership thing on I probably won't do it because I'm cheap but it's honestly like a very nice app I'm very pleasantly surprised with it and I would highly recommend um, anyone that wants to sleep a little or wake up a little better I should say and sleep a little bit easier uh, and have a better alarm I would give it a try it's pretty it's nice it's free um, it's on the app store and like I said it's called sleep cycle and uh, I've been using it every night for a couple weeks now I, I really like it um, kind of sounds like a paid promotion but <laughs> really is it uh, I just like the app and like wanted to provide a quick little update with that but that's really about it uh, so if you have any <clears throat> as my voice tries to crack if you have any questions or comments or anything please leave those down below and I hope you all have a wonderful day peace <laughs>